Hi, I'm Ron Cowie. I'm the old process teacher here at the New England School of Photography in Boston, and I'm looking forward to uh, teaching the workshop. What we're going to be doing is a lot of the processes from the 19th century that are very popular today. Uh, wet plate collodion uh, photography that includes the tin types, uh, actual glass plate negative making, and also printing on glass and making something called oratones, which is a really fun way to kind of work in the dark room but also work with images on glass. Um, we're also going to be making some sienna types and salt prints which are some of the earliest photographic processes and the recipes that were about 150 or 170 years old um, are still the same ones that we're using today and that's a, that's a lot of fun. I love that connection between what was then and what is now and how we can kind of bridge the gap and it's a, it's a really exciting time to be doing all the process because we can now make negatives from digital files that allow you to use these process use your modern cameras with these old processes and actually make images that are lasting and they're incredibly archival and you can make some very unique images that uh, either just for your own personal enjoyment or for commercial purposes uh, that really has a, a beautiful lasting quality to them and you learn everything you need to know about the history of photography by learning these processes. Uh, I learned a lot of the processes that I can now teach uh, in, in a lot of kind of backdoor ways, I suppose, but most of them I learned by working with Mark and Franz Osterman. I learned a lot of the wet plate process, actually all of the wet plate process through Scully and Osterman, and they're really the masters in the field. So it's really kind of fun to have a friendship and a scholarly connection with them at the Eastman House. Uh, also, Sienna types with uh, Jessica Ferguson and Jill Enfield. You know, it's kind of a fun community to be a part of the all-process community, that is. And it's really thrilling to be a part of this community and to be able to have something to contribute and to use NESOP as a platform for that conversation. So, I love, I love what I do. And I just, you know, every time I, I get an opportunity to learn something new, it's like, it is learning a new recipe, so, you know. I'm glad to be able to do what I do.